do. What he said he'll do. He's not a man that he should love. And this morning, I invite you to worship the Lord with our family because we wouldn't have a family. We would have multiple caskets lined up around the front of this church. And you'd be figuring out how you was going to get in to view the bodies. But God, what happened to us last Sunday is just beyond human comprehension. One of the deacons who takes me to church on Sunday morning, comes over there, packs up my clothes, gets everything ready for me, called me and said, do you want me to come at my normal time at 6.30? He precisely text 6.30, which was his normal time. And I text back, no, come at 7 o'clock. Uh, he texts back and said, have you forgotten you got a meeting at 8 o'clock? And something in him he said, maybe I should have him come at his regular time. And immediately something deeper said, cancel it. So, instead of him coming at 6.30, he was to come at 7, which meant that I wouldn't be over there in our dressing area at 6.30. At 6.30, our security cameras clocked it one second after 6.30. We had some kind of explosion that they're still researching that exploded in the exact spot that I am standing in every Sunday morning. I don't know how to make you understand what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the, bit, the roof collapse, the floor caved in, all the glass shot out the buildings, the windows bowed, cinder blocks shot a hundred feet down into my backyard, totally demolished. I would have not been in one piece. We would have both been dead. It was the exact spot we would stand in. but. God. The professional said that we wouldn't have even been in one piece. We would have been scrambled body parts. The, the couch has exploded. The kitchen equipment has exploded. The back door has exploded. All the steel has come down. The roof has collapsed. It raised the roof over my exercise room. All the glass shattered. Doorknobs came off the building. The security alarm sounded. My wife said, something is going on in the other side of the house. I ran over there to see what was happening. It was so shocking that I couldn't even I just stood there looking at it I didn't even know what I was looking at I didn't know who to call I could smell gas everywhere you could smell gas a half a mile away the fire department said it was amazing that it did not catch a fire it said it would have killed everybody in the house the blaze would have destroyed us so quick we wouldn't have been able to get out of there but God spoke one word but I told the Lord whether man tried it or the devil did it, no weapon. Formed against me shall prosper and every tongue that rises against me, God will condemn. And that's not just for me, that's for you too. Your daddy bless you too. For whatever the devil is trying to do in your life, God just said, cancel the meeting. Cancel it, cancel it, cancel it, cancel it, cancel it. Cancel it. Turned against me. against me. just ain't one. Too 